Alexander and I are devastated. We missed an entire year of our daughter's life. I didn't get to experience being pregnant with her or birthing her. We missed her entire newborn period. We never saw our baby's entrance into the world or cuddled her in her first seconds of life. A Southern California couple has filed a lawsuit against a Los Angeles fertility clinic for implanting wrong embryos in two women during IVF procedures. Due to this nightmare IVF mix-up, the two couples ended up giving birth to each other's babies. Both the couples spent months raising children that weren't theirs before swapping babies. Plaintiff in the lawsuit Daphna Cardinal said that she and her husband Alexander had an immediate suspicion that the girl she gave birth to in the late 2019 was not theirs. The Cardinals were suspicious as the child's complexion was darker than theirs and she had jet black hair. About 8 months later, a DNA test proved that the child birthed by Daphna was neither related to her nor her husband. It was discovered later that Daphna and Alexander's embryo was transferred to another couple who called their biological child to term. Our memories of childbirth will always be tainted by the sick reality that our biological child was given to someone else. And the baby that I fought to bring into this world was not mine to keep. <laughs> The daughter we raised and bonded with was gone after months of love and affection. There's no way to describe the pain that we've been through. The struggle to guide our older daughter through losing the little sister she fell in love with. the couple said that they put their trust in the California Center for Reproductive Health and Dr. Elran Moore for an IVF procedure. The couple had tried for years for a second child before opting for IVF. According to the Cardinals lawyer, the couple discovered that the fertility clinic had outsourced the handling of their embryo to In Vitro Tech Labs and its parent company Beverly Sunset Surgical Associates. According to the lawsuit both these companies are owned by Dr Moore. It is unclear how the embryo mix up happened. The lawsuit alleges that the fertility clinic recklessly, negligently or knowingly gave Cardinals embryos to another couple and implanted the wrong embryo in Daphna. We thought that we were working within a very professional industry. We trusted people. We trusted these people. And we never even knew that something like this could happen. It wasn't even on our radar. How could this happen? But now we realize that the fertility industry is a mess. The two couples met each other on 31st of December 2019 and later swapped the babies. The long-term consequences of baby swapping continues to haunt the couples. When the truth came to light, it made exchanging the children all the more heartbreaking. <laughs> losing the birth child that you know for the genetic child that you don't even know yet it's a truly impossible nightmare that inflicted trauma in vitro fertilization or ivf is an infertility procedure to produce what was earlier known as test tube babies the ivf procedure includes combining eggs and sperm outside the body in a laboratory Once embryos are formed they can be placed in the uterus. IVF is different from artificial insemination. In artificial insemination sperms are inserted directly into a woman's cervix while in IVF the egg and sperm are combined in a lab and an infused embryo is placed in a woman's womb. In the Cardinals case Daphna and Alexandra's embryos were swapped during the IVF procedure. IVF is a complex and expensive procedure. It is chosen by couples who are unable to conceive a child due to fertility problems such as low sperm count or poor egg quality. 
Couples usually opt for IVF only after trying out various fertility treatments and yet failing to conceive. It is by no means foolproof and couples often go through several rounds of IVF before a successful pregnancy.